burgers and brats. It's right there. Little hockey pucks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, welcome back to the next video. It's been a while. We had to take some time off to switch RVs from the old RV to the new RV. The new RV had all this stuff in it that the previous owners left. And then we had all our stuff in our RV. We had to dump everything off on the ground in our RV at the RV park. They gave us permission to do that and take our RV over to get the new RV. And we still had a bunch of stuff in there and it was a mess. They let us just pile everything. And then we had to take everything of ours and put it in a new RV. Now we had all of our stuff and the new RV stuff in it too. We came back to the RV park and it took us all week to get transferred from one to the other. It was as hard as moving from one stick and brick to another, I promise you. I didn't know it was gonna be that hard, but that's okay. We survived it. Now I wanna show you the uh, a little bit of the RV park Then I'm gonna show you the new to us RV and we just love it. So you stick with us. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We really appreciate that. And hit the notification bell, leave a comment and give us a thumbs up. And by the way, I did not want to forget to say happy birthday to my dear brother in Texas, who today is 79 years old. And you know what? He still works full time. What a guy. And he helps patrol the border to keep us safe here in America. We thank you, Eddie, and happy birthday, my dear brother. So what we're gonna to attempt to do here is fly a DJI Mavic 2 drone around the park, get some aerial views, if you will. This is my Zen Man Josh Mavic 2 DJI drone. We got the controller here. For the first time, I'm gonna use an iPad instead of an iPhone in order to uh, to get my aerial views so let's see if we can do this have confidence a couple quick hits there it is hey, i'm gonna actually launch it right here me sitting here incidentally it's like 98 degrees here there's very little humidity and i kind of like it I, if it were really humid that'd be a different story take this pull them down it. Now we're going to go up a couple of feet, then we're going to go out, then we're going to go up. And we're going to go back. Let's go up. Up some more, way up. And we're going to take a look at the RV part. I mean meters, so 100 meters is like 300 feet, right? Okay, let's take a look. Here we are. Beautiful RV park, incidentally. We'll just go ahead and uh, rotate around. They're kind of close together, though. Uh, I, we've seen worse. But um, we make do. You see how lush and green Idaho is in uh, this time of year. A lot of farming here, a lot of farming. Uh, absolutely beautiful state, love Idaho. If you've never been to Idaho, you should give it a try. Boise is not too far from here. That's the capital of Idaho. And that's I-84 right there, east and west, of course. Yeah. Very beautiful place. We like it here quite a bit. Well, there, if we rotate about 360, and we will see if we can get a down shot of the... Uh, RV park itself. 
That's about it. We're going to take a look at the RV park. We're here at the Country Corners RV Park here in Caldwell, Idaho. Typical RV park. Not much different than any other park. The sites are a little bit closer, but the way it, it's but the way the park is designed, you really can't tell the difference. I'll show you a little bit about the park, then we're going to show you the RV. Typical little RV park, got a little store here. And you got a typical laundry, as you can see. It's a little one, but it, uh, it'll work. Park over here. Real nice place to walk your dog. Got a little community fire pit over here with the wood over here. And that's about it. You can see they're pretty close together. And you're about 35 minutes from Boise. A lot of people live here, I think, full-time, part-time, because they work in the various places. You can tell there's a lot of people over here that uh, you can tell they're pretty well settled in. All these people just came in today. Our new RV to us is that one right there, the Bounder. 2016, 35K, 36 foot, made by Fleetwood. We bought it from Bish's RV in Meridian, Idaho. And maybe next is get rid of this and get a flat toe. And we haven't quite moved in yet. We still got a lot to do, that's trash. But I wanna show you around the RV. We really like it. I like this Sunsetter style awning. It only has two slides, but I like that. That's for the bedroom and the one over here is for the living room and they're so smooth. That's about 16, 18 feet long, I'm not sure. There's no driver's doors like the Winnebago had. You know, under these trees and the birds have done a number on us, uh, a number two. The tires are brand spanking new. Brand new tires, let's take a look inside. Oh, incidentally, I love these bay doors here that open. Let me see if I can get a better view over here. All the way through to the other side. And there's a lot of storage, the hole under there. I'm putting solar back there. And I'm expecting six solar panels, 195 watts each, come in Monday. Anyway, let's show you, I, I love the color it's called desert sand let's take a look inside as we go in here it's really really nice hey babe scooter loves it he fell in love with it right away and one of the things we really like are these two air conditioners they're really quiet and you can flip these and it forces the air out through a central system plus it has propane propane central which we really like it'll heat you up real quick right the two captain's chairs uh, swivel all the way around and we certainly like that it's in real good shape it's like brand new this is a this bed here is part of the 30th anniversary and addition of fleetwood founder 35k and this bed actually comes all the way down to about right here and it's got a little ladder you can climb up in it's really soft up here but this rv has far fewer spaces inside to store. So we decided to use a storage area. Common makes sense for us to do that. We like this area. It's more like a living area. The galley and the dining area fit together to go together. We like the convection oven. We like everything about it here. And the residential refrigerator. When this RV is rolling down the road, this refrigerator stays on. It has a, a, a built-in inverter that runs off the house batteries that keeps it going and actually keeps power to the whole RV as you're rolling down the road. And uh, this, little, this little section here pulls out. Somehow, Cindy knows how to do it, but when we bring the slide in, this entire slide in right here, this, Cindy knows how to make it disappear. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how to do that yet. But uh, anyway, that's it. You got a half bath and a full bath. And the half bath is uh, still got, Cindy has her favorite wood carving paintings. We gotta find a place for that. But you can see it's really nice, really convenient to have a half bath. I love the lighting system. And in the bedroom, this, be this is the bedroom slide. It just comes out with a touch of a button. It's real quiet. There's uh, storage space underneath. 
those windows come up, uh, the window shades come up. They also have shade covering on the windows too, right here. Cindy likes that. She opens her window at night and she likes the cool air coming in. And of course, we got smoke detectors. And we're not quite moved in yet, but it's got a uh, bedroom television, which we don't watch. But, and this is the main bathroom, which we really, really like the skylight. That's not a light, that's actually sun coming in. Right now, we're using it as storage. I like to say, this RV just simply doesn't have the storage that the uh, other one has. But so when we need a shower, we'll just simply take that out, put it on the bed, take a shower. And uh, this is very, very, very nice, y'all. Very beautiful. And that's it. That's the RV right there. Just wanted to show you. One of the features about this is this couch here. And with the fireplace, it's been really cold here at nights here. And this thing is, I've got it on no heat right now because it's like 98 degrees out. But I just wanted to show you how, how homey it is. Look at over here. It virtually is just really warm, homey feeling, right? Yes. Cindy did all of this. You should have seen it. It was a mess. She took her a week to get this so we could consider ourselves, we're still a little bit left, consider ourselves moved in and organized. And remember to subscribe. We'll see you next video. You take care, you guys. Thanks for watching. In our restroom here, our main bath, master bath, it has a vacuum toilet. You turn this on, you see the red light. And uh, when it turns green over here, that means it's ready uh, to flush and it does a super job. Uh, there's actually a manual on this. I've never had to read a manual on a toilet before.